Start with that breaking news now first at four. The stepfather of Madalena Kojikari is out of jail on bond. You'll remember he was arrested for not reporting the girl's disappearance. Thanks for joining us on your Friday. I'm Siobhan Bryan. WBTV anchor Jamie Bowl joins us now in studio with the details. So, Jamie, this happened because of a decision by a judge just yesterday. Yeah, that's exactly right, Siobhan. Christopher Palmer faced a judge yesterday. Remember, he had his bond reduced. It was initially $200,000, but had it knocked down to just $25,000. Remember, both Palmer and Madalena's mother, Diana Kojakari, in court yesterday pleading not guilty to those charges of failing to report her missing. Last time anyone saw Madalena in public right before Thanksgiving of last year, we've all seen this video, but Cornelius police say her mother didn't report the disappearance until weeks later, and that was only after people from Madalena's school started asking where she was, why she hadn't been to class. There have been so many theories floated out there about what Madalena has happened to her, including a theory from the girl's own mother that she was sold for money. So please still asking for your help in all of this. If you have seen her, you know where she might be. Call them, call the FBI right away. And right now, I also want to point out, we do have a crew at the Mecklenburg County Jail waiting for Christopher Palmer to be processed and then released. Will he talk? Certainly we have questions. If he does say something, we're going to be there to get it. Again, live pictures from the Mecklenburg County uh, Jail there today. So we'll keep updated on that as well. And coming up at 5 o'clock, our reporter Lowell Rose, he's back in the neighborhood where Madalena's family lives. He'll have a full report ahead in our next hour. A lot going on here, Siobhan. Jamie, thank you. First at 